Oh look, the scroller box, September box is finally here. It took a long time for it to cross the channel from UK into France. And it came slightly smushed and flattened. So let's hope that the contents justify the long wait and all the suffering this box has been through on the way. So what do we have this month? Our mystery packet, which as always I'm putting aside. You can see a pencil trying to escape there. And the magazine. Ooh, which in the, and um, an artwork. And they indicated the color scheme of the books. And the style of artwork of this box. So this month's box is created by Robert Dutton, who is a British artist. And magazine, as always, includes a description of the products, interview with the artist, artwork created by the subscribers of the previous boxes, and some inspirational description of the products. So let's see what substrate is included in this box. Scroller box has never ever disappointed me. I've always loved their papers, their paper pads, and this one seems to be the same. It is a serious 250 gram multimedia paper. Always happy to see mixed media paper. <gasps> and it's blue! Do you see that? It is grayish powdery blue. Most beautiful color. What a wonderful, serious paper pad. I'm loving it. Absolutely loving it. Imagine what a book, what um, art journal would it make, for example. Wonderful. Okay, but let's calm down, because the highlight of the box, as always, is supposed to be our mystery packet. So let's unwrap the tissue paper and see what's inside. So judging by the artwork, we should get something black and white and... Yeah, so there is the little card which describes the products and sets the monthly challenge, painting or art challenge. There is a monthly sticker. I hear that people collect them. And who? what do we have here? What is this tiny little packet? It looks like um, Taylor's chalk. But when I open it, um, it feels... Um, oh, and it's broken. Well, it does not um, impede on using it. I can still, of course, use it. Just slightly disappointing. But this is artist chalk. The little label says that this is artist chalk. And it is white. Yes, it is chalky. But the feeling is more um, soapy. More like, like it is damp. Very interesting. So I will have to read the uh, booklet to understand how to use it. And to continue the white theme, uh, this is a blending tool. Since I love coloring these colored pencils, I have several of blending tools. I don't use them. Almost never. But they are really practical. And I saw that this was a razor. No, this was a candy. And well done, scroller box. The candy matches the box. Perfect. And then there are two black pencils, and those are graphite pencils. And one white pencil, and there is uh, no description on the pencil, what type of pencil this is, so I need to consult the little card. And the card says that this is a white color pencil with a brilliant pigmentation that lays very well on multimedia projects. Love the sound of that. And since the white pencils or other coloring mediums are difficult to come by, the good ones, I'm very happy to see that scroller box usually includes one or in this case two white coloring mediums in their boxes. But now let's move to the mystery box. Uh, let's see what's inside. Oh, it's not a pencil case. 
Oh. Blocks. So, luckily, they have names on them. So, there are three charcoal blocks and three graphite blocks. I have some charcoal pencils. They are great for shadows. Oh, and they came broken. All of them. Oh, this box must have suffered. Okay, so I know the charcoal pencils, so charcoal blocks, maybe I can find usage for them. But what are graphite blocks? I am starting to feel like a fish out of water. How do you use these ingredients? I have no idea what to do with these um, supplies, so I've decided to switch them, to get the feel of them, and at this point I was sure that I was not even going to paint anything, yet alone participate in the challenge. So let's start with the white. It is very soft, very easy to work with. And just to compare, I used the other white pencils. I think almost all of them come from other scroller boxes. And the difference I noticed straight away that this white pencil is very soft. I really liked it. It was so enjoyable to work with. So I tried the blending tool, blending tool as all other blending tools. And now the black pencils. Uh, sorry, I said black, but I should use the correct name. Uh, they are graphite pencils. So this one is a very soft pencil. I think it was 6B. And this is absolutely amazing. See, this is 14B. I have never held in my hand a pencil this soft. And it layers like a dream. And you see how black it is. And I'm trying to color a larger area because I want to compare them with the ordinary graphite pencil because the description says that these are matte graphite pencils. Imagine that graphite pencils can be matte and do you see the difference? They are slightly shiny but there indeed is a huge difference with an ordinary graphite pencil. Now into unfamiliar territory. Let's start with the Taylor's... No, not Taylor's. <laughs> Let's start with the artist chalk. I decided that I like it. It's very easy to paint with and I might even use it one day. And no to the blocks. Oh, Dita, don't be scared. All you need to do is paint some squares with all six of them. Interestingly, making swatches did lessen my fear of this box. I am still afraid of them. You can even say I am bamboozled by them. But I've decided to try and paint something. Perhaps this will be the only time I'm using these supplies, so my, I might as well get the most out of them. My plan was to paint something quickly before my bravery dwindles. You know, something along the lines, get out of your comfort zone. For their challenge, Scroller Box asked us to paint a dramatic landscape. We are right, there is no way a dramatic landscape is going to happen, especially after having, having seen the artwork of the featured artist. But my thinking process was like, I have to draw a landscape? No, but the paper is blue, that reminds me of water. Water is a proud part of landscape. Fish live in water, and I know a black and white fish like a herring, so let's draw a fish. Uh, of course, I'm working from a reference, I'm not that good to do this from the memory, but I tried to use all the materials included the blacks and the whites and the graphite. Um, no, I don't think I used the graphite pencils, but I used the charcoal pencils. And slowly, step by step, I started to enjoy the process. I started to like the materials, the softness of them. All of them were very soft to use, so it was a very pleasurable process to use them. 
Except, of course, you are saying that my table gets covered in charcoal, my hands get covered in charcoal. I never worked with this material, so it is not in my blood to remember to protect the hands, to protect the drawing, to protect the table. <laughs> so the charcoal is getting everywhere. So finally, after I blew off a couple of uh, teaspoons of charcoal dust from my drawing, I realized, yes, that I need to protect my hand and the drawing itself. So I used another piece of paper while I painted the eye of the fish. So at the end, I was still afraid of these materials. I was still intimidated by the blocks. Serves me right for subscribing to an art supplies box. But... To be honest, I enjoyed this. I enjoyed <laughs> working with these materials. I enjoyed even painting this uh, little fish head. I truly enjoyed the process. And now, excuse me, I need to go wash my hands. I need to clean the table and get that charcoal dust out of everything. And I see you soon in the next episode.